When you're standing on the aisle, it's often packaging that makes the difference for us between one brand or another. In fact, a recent study revealed that 64% of consumers tried a product because the packaging caught their eye on the shelf and 41% purchased the product again because of its packaging. Design is incredibly important, from the way a package communicates the essence of a brand to the way it feels in our hands. It all sparks an emotional connection within us. Function is equally important. Packaging has to work. It has to protect the product. It has to open and close efficiently. And it has to make it easy to get that last drop. So the big question is, can we actually make it cost effectively and at scale on a real manufacturing line? Our researchers and designers delve deep into consumer insights, packaging science, and ergonomics to imagine what's possible for packaging. And they work shoulder to shoulder with our product developers and manufacturing engineers to make sure those ideas can survive the laws of physics, the mechanics of machinery, and today's complex supply chain. Meet Bernie and Brian. They are two of the many bright minds exploring what's possible. What's possible means thinking deeply about the science of packaging and how it can solve unique customer challenges right now, today. When we know we have a new packaging idea that meets a consumer need, we want to get it to the market yesterday. Here at the pilot plant, we test prototypes of our paperboard packaging to ensure it's logistically possible and cost effective to manufacture them at scale. This speeds up our R&D process and helps get new packaging into the market quickly. When we get an idea, we need to step back and determine what kind of work do we need to do here at the pilot plant. First thing we would actually test for is we would test how could we actually make this material. For a new paperboard, we'll start all the way back with the wood chips, carry it all the way through the pulping process. We may take it into the refining process. After the refining process, we'll take the treated pulp and we'll attempt to make a piece of paper. And then we can run some tests on it and see if we're getting the result we want. We then will carry it through different pieces of other equipment we have here in the plant. We can put different types of coating on, for example. The coater, I feel, is one of the key pieces of equipment in the pilot plant. The way we make our coatings, the way we apply them, helps them to be able to print on the board, calendar the board, make it a smoother surface, smoothness, gloss, printability, those are some big aspects. We have the ability to make extruded products where we may melt a plastic of some kind onto the surface. The extruder allows us to test different polymers on small scale. It takes different polymers, melts it at a certain temperature to get a good bond to the paper surface. So in a way, the pilot plant is a one-stop shop that allows us to test out ideas. We not only imagine what's possible for our customers, we make it happen. Because of the rigorous testing we do at our pilot plant, we can be sure our innovative packaging concepts are manufacturable, at scale, cost-effectively. Because of our pilot plant, our ideas move quickly from prototypes on a design table to actual packaging on a store shelf or in a restaurant near you. So the next time you pick up a box of cereal or take a drink to go, you might think twice about how it got to you.